In this episode of Vivian Tries, there is adult language. If you're easily offended, please turn the video off now. Hello, you guys, and welcome back to another Vivian Tries. We're in my kitchen. Today, we are trying another as seen on television product. Can your kitchen knife do this? Today, we're trying this guy. It is the forged in fire, stainless steel, hammered, everything, everything, everything knife set. A once in a lifetime knife inspired by the hit TV show Forged in Fire. The set of two knives is $30. So when I saw that on the shelf at the store, I was like, why are two knives $30? That's a lot of money for two little knives. So I decided to watch the infomercial right there at the store. And I had to sit down to finish the infomercial. It was too much. Well, now it came. Per the infomercial, these are the last two knives you're ever gonna need in your whole life. Ever, ever, ever. Just in case you didn't know. Okay? And I have here my protective gear because food might be flying all over the place. For $29.99, expectations are high. All the shit you claim on that infomercial, we're gonna test it. Well, most of it, not everything. You're getting the eight inch chef knife and you're getting a three and a half inch paring knife. It says on here, surgical stainless steel, hammered finish, hand ground blade. Blade expert, tell me what that means. Comfort grip handle that will not slip. Better not slip because I can kill somebody. I have all kinds of things that we're going to try here. Oh my God, I just almost cut my fingers off. Ooh. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, I feel so dangerous. I feel so dangerous. Beautiful, beautiful. They're way nicer than my little dull knives. Very shiny. <laughs> so nice. Beautiful so far. Beautiful. That hammered finish wasn't really impressing me till now. I actually like the way that looks. They feel really nice. For $29.99, they're better, huh? This one feels nice too. So far, first impressions, I'm impressed. So, in that infomercial, they're chopping up all kinds of stuff. They chop up an entire avocado, seed and all. Seed or pit, I don't know what it's called. The seed inside, I'm gonna call it a seed. But they just put it down and then, wham! They're so strong. It will cut everything in your kitchen. Then they take a grape and they slice it paper thin. I don't have grapes, but I do have cherry tomatoes. So we're gonna do that. And I have this thing. I, I think it's a pumpkin. I don't know what this is called. The skin on this thing is hard as hell. So I'm gonna try one ninja cut like that. I also have a block of ice. Chopping this frozen solid block of ice and that torture won't dull its precision sharpness and a special surprise at the end. And you know something else that they do in that infomercial that I was like, too much forged in fire people. They took a knife, another knife, not one of theirs. They put it down and then they went, bam. And their knife cut a knife in half. What kind of machete is this? Razor sharp edge literally shatters the competition. That's some jungle machete shit. That's not regular, that's not a regular knife. That's a damn sword. So we're gonna begin with a block of ice because that seems to me like the easiest thing, don't you think? Don't do this at home, kids. Don't play with knives. Have insurance. <laughs> As you guys saw, don't put, don't do what I just did with your hat. Leave your damn hat alone when you have a knife a machete like this. Okay, it feels good. <laughs> I was gonna say, I hope it's not slippery. It's not, it actually feels really nice. I'm gonna do it at an angle, okay? Because he kind of did it at an angle in the infomercial. Ready? One, two, three, go. Did you see it? <laughs> okay, it did not, I was a little scared. I'm gonna try it one more time, okay? Ready? One, two, three, go. <laughs> this is this is this is very dangerous. 
dangerous. What happened to my block of ice? You guys, the block of ice flew to the other side of my damn kitchen. Holy shit. You gotta put some strength into it. Oh, oh my god, I'm nervous. My heart's beating so fast. Ice block test passed. Our next item, this squash pumpkin. I think this one's gonna work. If it worked on that fucking block of ice, it's gonna work on this, I think. Okay, I've dried it off, so nothing should be slipping. Ready? <laughs> Ready? This is gonna go everywhere, right? Should I protect my eyeballs with my goggles? Not yet? <laughs> Ready? One, two, three, go. Oh, I didn't do it hard. I got it, but I didn't get it. Kind of? I don't know. I didn't go all the way through. But I, I, okay. Listen, with this knife, I don't want to have to, I don't want to do that. It comes professionally sharpened so you can tear through your T-bone. It has to be like butter, like, man, you know what I'm saying? But still, with this, I have to like, I mean, listen, it's, it's doing a good job, but I'm still having to push a little bit. I don't even want to push. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you saw that? That happens with my regular knife. These are easy things. The things that are coming are really going to put these damn knives to the test. We're not testing this hot glue gun. But in the infomercial, their fruit wasn't moving when they were cutting it. So I figured, hey, they glued that shit down. I'm a professional production studio as well. So I'm gonna put a little bit of hot glue there just to hold my avocado down. That's not cheating. It's just so that it doesn't move while I'm trying to strike it with my fucking sword. Okay. So you put it on there and you let it dry for a second. Boom, that ain't moving. Movie magic, folks. Movie magic. Ding, 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 ding. That's not moving. Look at that. All right. Are you guys ready? I'm going to stand a little bit to the side here. <laughs> oh, wait. I should put it like this. I just messed it up. See? Not a big deal. I got plenty of glue. See? Now you know all the studio secrets. Put your avocado right there. Hold it. Blow on it for a second. Bam. Avocado ain't moving. Ain't going nowhere. Inhale, exhale. Tell baby Jesus to be with you and forgive you for all your sins. I do like how it feels in my hand. It feels really nice. Oh my god! Oh yeah! Cut that motherfucker in half. Now, I combined two items from the infomercial into one. They had tomatoes and they had grapes. So I just thought, hey, a cherry tomato, I can get two birds with one stone right there. With a little bit of glue, nobody's moving, look at that. In the infomercial, that tomato, he just sliced, he didn't even touch it. And that tomato didn't even fucking move. <laughs> I don't know what kind of beauty they're doing over there, but that tomato didn't move. And that motherfucker just cutting like this. Nobody's, nobody's holding that tomato. I know they got glue, but there might be some other kind of black magic. Ready? One, two, three, go. Nice. Perfect half. We're going to slice it like they did that grape. They like stopped all the music in the infomercial. It's like silent. Like. Did you see it? If not, watch again. Let's watch that again. That's a sharp knife. Oh, that's a juicy cherry. I mean, that's a juicy tomato. Oh, did you see it? Did you see it? Paper thin, baby. Oh. Oh, okay. Paper thin. Let's try it with the bigger knife because I believe they were using the bigger knife. Ooh. That is paper thin. It passed the cherry tomato test. Okay, for our next test, we are gonna try our water bottles. Do you think I can do it? Did you read my shirt? Well, now I can. So let's take the show outside. 
is literally like 27 degrees outside today and I did put a little bit of glue at the bottom of these as well just to kind of hold them ready one two three wait one two three oh my god now we have just a little baby fish in the infomercial he practically cut that damn big ass fish in half i thought i could cut the little baby sardine in half i'm just gonna use a little paring knife it should just one little bam cut that fish in half that's what we're gonna do the butcher at the place that sold me this little one guy he wanted to cut it for me i told him no i need the guts it needs to be dramatic just like the damn infomercial three What just happened? I didn't get any guts. That shit actually bounced back. Is this real? It's real. Let me tell you that. You're about to see some guts right now. If you're squeamish, look away. Ready? One more time. I literally cut that motherfucker's head right off. <laughs> yeah, I'm a butcher now. <laughs> that little head came right off this guy. I know that's gross. I'm gonna put it down and not show it to you guys again, but that fish was too little. In that infomercial, they did better. Lay your fish. I gotta keep it motherfucking professional. So let's bring in the big boy. <laughs> Here he is. Now he's half <laughs> he's half chopped up, you guys, because I made a fucking rookie mistake. I forgot to hit record. So I did it for my non-existing live studio audience. <laughs> Just myself and my husband that's holding up the fish for me. Here's the head right here. I gotta show it to you because I did so good. I said, clean. You guys would have been so impressed with my ninja skills. I gotta do it again with just half of a fish. <laughs> this little motherfucker, how much did he weigh? Four pounds. He weighed four pounds. Now guts are really gonna fucking scatter. I'm gonna hold it. I'm scared. I'm not gonna hold it because I'm scared. But it did work, you guys. Bam, it passed my test. It's like butter in the infomercial. He cuts it downward. That's what professional ninjas do. You don't cut right across. I bet I could too, but I'm gonna cut downward like that. Just like I did before. You guys can see my little angle there. Bye, am. Okay. Oh yeah. Did you see that? Wait, who's got a fucking half of a tail swinging around in their kitchen? This motherfucking professional. I pretty much tried 99% of the things they did in that infomercial. Here are my thoughts. For $29.99, because it passed all of my tests, I think it's worth the price. Normally, as seen on television products that are over $19.99, I'm very critical of because that's a lot of money. And this one had so many claims, I thought for sure they have a lot of fluff in that infomercial, but I will admit when I'm wrong. I was wrong. 50 year warranty too, that's pretty damn good. So for all of those reasons, I'm gonna give the Forged in Fire stainless steel knife set five Vivian heads. All right, you guys, so that is it for another Vivian Tries. I hope that you have enjoyed this video. If you have, give it a big fat thumbs up for me in the comments down below. Let me know if you've seen a cool as seen on television product and it might get featured in an upcoming episode. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. I'm putting out one to two videos every week for your entertainment. Don't forget to share the video with your family and your friends. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. They don't engrave them for you, but if you want, I'll engrave them. I'm going to put motherfucking professional mine with my Engrave It Pro.